If you're looking to get your hands on your very first big motorcycle, well, there are a lot of factors that come into play. And the biggest one, of course, is always going to be cost. But then, of course, you've also got other factors such as what kind of riding style do you like? What kind of motorcycle brand do you want to follow? And of course, how is this bike to live with on an everyday basis? Well, we're here to answer all those questions for you. And with us, we've got two of the very best mid-segment motorcycles. We have got with us the Scrambler Ducati and, of course, the Honda CB500X. Now, both these bikes are mid-segment motorcycles and they come at a very affordable price tag when you're looking at the big bike segment. So, we're going to talk about what these bikes are like to live with and why they are the best options if you're looking to get your hands on your very first big motorcycle and have that big bike experience. You're watching the AutoX YouTube channel. You can also get your daily dose of all things automotive on our website, autox.com, and follow us on social media. Don't forget to check out our monthly magazine and make sure to hit the bell and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Let's start with the Honda CB500X. This is an ADV motorcycle, and at a price of rupees 6.9 lakh X showroom, it's a very affordable machine to enter that big bike segment. The Scrambler, on the other hand, is a more of an exotic model. It's a retro classic, and it offers you that extra performance. So, Shivank has been riding the Scrambler, and I've been riding on the ADV, which is obviously my preference when it comes to motorcycles. So, Shivank, what do you uh, think about when you look at the big bike segment in India? I know that. Um, we've we've never had uh, a lot of options when it came to the mid segment. We've always had either you know entry level bikes like the Duke 390, uh, and of course you've always had that extreme where you have bikes like the BMW S1000R or a Harley Davidson, which is, are very very expensive. So now we have a lot of options in this segment. I do think that these are the best bikes that you can get your hands on right now, and they're obviously very easy to live with. They're affordable, and of course they offer you that aspirational value of owning a big bike. So I think uh, that's right. If you want to step up, you know, from uh, regular 390s or small bikes, I think a middleweight motorcycle is the best option because you experience a big bike for the first time. So you need decent power, but uh, you don't want something that will intimidate you. So I think in that regard, middleweight motorcycles like the Scrambler or the CB500X or uh, the various Kawasaki uh, Z650s we have here. So all those uh, naked motorcycles, I think, are, are the best option if you are uh, entering the big bike world for the first time. Now, what I would want in a middleweight motorcycle, my first big motorcycle, would be something that's affordable, that's accessible, and that shouldn't be too expensive to maintain because most of the motorcycles, uh, most for first-time buyers, when they buy a big motorcycle, you know, the, they go for servicing, and it is a shocker because the prices, the components of all these motorcycles, most of these motorcycles are, uh, you know, are CKDs. The parts come from outside India. The part uh, that shows in the maintenance because uh, it's expensive to maintain. So uh, I'd want something that's cheap, I want something that is fun and I'd want something that is also aspirational like you said. Uh, now I've been riding the Scrambler, I think it's a great motorcycle because Ducati uh, is an exotic brand so this is your entry ticket to uh, Ducati and it is the most affordable motorcycle of course by Ducati. Uh, now uh, what I like about this motorcycle is that it's fun to ride, it's a hooligan, it has an 800cc L twin engine so there's a lot of performance if you're riding daily. If you want to commute on this motorcycle that's entirely possible because it has a lot of power, it's very comfortable, it's very nimble also to ride, uh, the brakes are really good, the clutch is also light so uh, it is a very easy going motorcycle but at the same time it's also very fun to ride. And that's exactly the points that I was trying to make earlier is that when you want a big bike and if you don't have so much money to invest in, you know, it's actually a big investment decision on deciding what bike you want to get. And that's why we've chosen these two models right here because we want something that, of course, is going to be usable. That's the most important thing here. And the, the Scrambler, it's an exotic machine and it's got great performance. I mean, it's got 74 brake horsepower. That's more than enough power you need. And the throttle response is so nice and the bike just pushes so forward with so much power and gusto. So it's a very good machine and, of course, usable. Now, the CB500X, on the other hand, is a little different. Uh, it is also usable and it is also practical, but it offers you uh, that touring capabilities. If you want to go on long distance touring, this is an adventure tourer after all. So it's got that extra added bonus. So it also depends on what kind of bike you want. So the CB500X within that segment is one of the best mid-segment ADVs you can get your hands on in India right now. 
Yes, it is only a 500cc engine. In fact, it's a 471cc and it's a parallel twin and gives you about 47 brake horsepower, which is also more than enough power you need. But what's really good about the 500X here is that it also outperforms bikes in a higher segment. And honestly, a lot of people will complain that this bike is priced a little too high for the engine capacity that it has. But honestly, you've ridden the bike as well. The amount of character and the amount of power delivery this bike gives you and the handling capabilities that it has it is such an amazing bike to ride and almost any rider can get on it and just throw it around. That's the best thing about it. You don't have to be uh, scared about getting on these bikes. They're just so confidence inspiring that when you get on them, you can enjoy them to their maximum potential. You can push them to their limits and you don't have to worry about, you know, getting thrown off by twisting your uh, <laughs> wrist too much because certain bikes, especially big sports bikes, if you're not used to them, they can be a little bit dangerous in riding in those conditions. that can happen with the because it has a very snappy throttle. It's, that's yeah, why I say it's fun exactly, because it yeah. just has that uh, you know performance. It's always there. Uh, that's why I said it's fun because the throttle is really snappy and uh, if you're not careful, it just lurches ahead. So uh, in that regard, it's not as docile as the Honda. Uh, that's why it's you know more fun to ride and it has a lot more character. That's what you know. That's what Ducati is all about if you compare it with the Honda. Whereas the 500X, I think it is a very sweet motorcycle, like how you'd expect a Japanese motorcycle to be. The handling is really great. We are riding around these twisty roads. And I think the way it leans into the corners, it is really a great motorcycle. It feels like a sports tourer. It is a sports tourer. Yeah, absolutely. The way it handles, you know, it's very telepathic and it's a great motorcycle. Of course, like Jared said, it is a little expensive for a 500cc motorcycle, but uh, Given what's on offer, uh, like all the cycle parts, there is nothing fancy on this motorcycle. Exactly, but how yeah. it all comes together, even with these parts, this motorcycle, I think it is one of the best products from Honda. Absolutely. And uh, that's why if you are looking for your first motorcycle, if you are into ADVs, if you tour a lot, if you go over bad roads, of course, the Scrambler can also do that. But uh, if you want an ADV as your first motorcycle, I think the CD500X, you spend the extra money and you'll get your money's worth. And also the service costs are actually very low on Honda and it's going to be more affordable. So if you're looking for a motorcycle, if you want to ride it for four to five years, uh, in case some people, they buy a middleweight motorcycle and they jump to a bigger motorcycle immediately. So I think in that regard, the Scrambler is a very good uh, step up. It's a nice uh, middle ground, you know, once before you jump uh, to a high motorcycle. But if you want to live with a motorcycle for a couple of years, I think the Honda is going to be more reliable and uh, the Honda is going to be cheaper to run as well. Exactly. So again, when it comes to getting your first big bike, we've talked about the accessibility of it. We talked about the living with it on a daily basis. Now, when it comes to even to the enthusiast segment of it, I know so many uh, biking enthusiasts who have large collection of bikes and they still prefer riding a mid-segment bike in India. Because of course, the Indian conditions don't really allow for you to, like I said earlier, push the bike to its limits. I mean, unless you have access to a track and you have a very high capacity or leader class sports bike, then of course it makes a lot of sense. Or if you wanna go on highway touring on a big, uh, let's say a Harley Davidson or Indian Chieftain, that of course is possible. Now we're not saying it's not possible to own a big bike, which is very big, but these bikes are the gateway bikes and these are the best gateway bikes right now. The CB500X certainly is one of the best touring, uh, sports touring motorcycles we have right now in India. And the Scrambler of course offers that retro classic look that will be a little bit more entertaining to more uh, mature customers. So in that respect, these bikes are fantastic. And I think that honestly, if I were to make a choice between these two, I definitely would stick with the Honda uh, CB500X. In fact, I'm even considering buying one right now. I don't have the money for it, but I have the investment plan coming up very soon. Um, Shivak, what about you? Which one do you prefer out of these two? So I think it's uh, probably the same for me as well, because I also love the CB500X. Of course, the pricing uh, is a bit of a downer because it is expensive by, I think, a lakh or more. Uh, it should have been below six lakh rupees. That's what I think. But overall, this motorcycle, it is, you know, it's, it's greater than the sum of its parts because, uh, like I said, nothing fancy about this motorcycle, but when you ride, it is just so good and you can't just get off this motorcycle. Absolutely. Plus, you have to remember that uh, we are talking about middleweight motorcycles for Indian markets. So for all sort of road conditions, whether you ride on highways, whether you do daily commuting, I think this motorcycle just fits the bill. Even can, trail riding. <laughs> yeah, even trail riding. Yeah, you can do light off-roading. And uh, for newcomers, for newbies who are just, you know, graduating up from, let's say, KTMs and uh, Yamas. So this, I think it's the perfect middleweight motorcycle. Of course, it's a lot more expensive, but then 
it is yeah. a superior motorcycle. The Scrambler does look really beautiful though, yeah. I've got to say. I mean, it's got that Italian design elements to it. It's an exotic, it looks fantastic. So it's appealing for sure in that respect. Yeah. And of course, that power surge that it has is fantastic. But I have to really say that I do think these are the best bikes within, you know, the big bike segments as an entry gateway bike, as and, I mentioned and earlier. And Scrambler, I have to say, see, if you are someone who just rides within the city, the Scrambler is a better option. Absolutely, right? yeah. Because you don't want to be riding around in a sports It's more practical for yeah. sure, yes. Now the Honda is for someone who just tours a lot, yeah. but also wants to use the motorcycle on a daily basis if the need arises. Yeah. But the Scrambler, if you ride in the city, you don't tour a lot, probably once in two or three months, you go for a short ride. I think the Scrambler makes more sense. It's more appealing. It has a lot more performance for city usage. It's more fun. And of course, it's more nimble as well. And the Scrambler will also introduce you to engine overheating in big bikes as well yeah, because the engine does heat up. That's, but that's, that's, that's something you'll have to uh, get used to in all big bikes. Yeah. And anyone who owns a big bike will know that, especially in India. So, so yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, it overheats a lot. Uh, but then again, I, I know I, uh, it's peak summer right now. But I was riding this motorcycle. It overheats a lot. But then you're just having too much fun. So I think that's a trade-off. But I can live with that, yeah. honestly. So overall, if you are a newbie, if you are going to buy your first middleweight motorcycle, these are of course the best options, but know what you want from your motorcycle. If you want a hooligan, the Scrambler is of course there. There are more options like the Triumph uh, Trident, which was recently launched. Uh, and now uh, if you are into ADVs, so of course the CB500X, I think it is- uh, Number one contender for yeah, sure. Yeah, the, the best middleweight ADV that there is. There you guys go. Good, make a good investment decision and you will be on your way into entering that gateway to the wonderful world of big bikes. If you have any questions, comments, make sure to put them in the comment section below. And if you want to read our comparison of these two bikes, you can always go to autox.com.